and I mean, literally up to the feet of the the guys in the pit crews. You now they're in, in the pit in the stands. Pit? Oh, I mean, yeah. there's not many people sitting in those few bottom rows anyway. Yeah, you know, well, for that reason, I exactly, imagine. Exactly, but. Um, but I'd like to give a shout out to my uh, my friend down there that runs a sprint car in a 1K, Kenzer Cox, and yep. and his family, Doug and his mom and everybody, his sister. They I got to see them. I hadn't seen them in a couple of years. Great, yeah, great good. family. Those guys are so cool. So back to that show. Talk, let's talk about grandstands. Grandstands were full. Uh, I, I don't think they were absolute full, but they they probably were Sunday. Yeah, I mean Sunday was a lot bigger show, and and uh, we'll have to bring that up on screen to talk about it because I don't, I wasn't there. But uh, yeah, everything was everything was outstanding down there, as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely, Every- you look at you look at the results from Saturday. I mean, there, you got this the field of cars that showed up Saturday that made the A main. You had 40 qualify, 20 may started the A. I mean, that would be half, right? That would be half. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you a good time. Oh, I know, but you look at it. Justin Cox took home the W with what was it Luke Forler. I hope I'm saying that right. Two seconds back. Roger Crockett, in the, he was driving the 7N machine this week, mm-hmm. finished in third on Saturday night. Racing Jason Solwald. That's the night we were betting on, wasn't it? That's what I thought. I thought we were betting on the first night, but yeah. whatever. I, my dad. We paid. said the show. My dad's and this, paid. This is that a, was the show Saturday night. Oh, my <laughs> <word>. <laughs> I, I, think it's, I think it's kind of a, a oh. wash. You know, we I, win one night, he wins the other. Hey, hey, wait, why are we spoiling this? <laughs> well, we're not spoiling it. I'll give you props. You took one car out of the entire field. I, and, and he and, finished third on the first night. Okay, and he won the second night. I'll give so you props. So I call that a wash. I don't know. I think the night number two typically is the bigger yeah. of the two nights. Yeah, so okay. It is. I so, mean, we got so Col- Colin Baker in the 22X finished seven. Glad to see that kid back behind the wheel. Absolutely. What he went through a couple of years ago. Absolutely. Henry Van Dam, one of your favorites, Corey. HVD. That's Henry Van Dam, Warren. <laughs> I've heard yeah, of him. And before. look at Patrick Dills. I mean, I mean you know. Patrick uh, Dills, he was, he was mentioned quite a bit. I think Kyle Miller, 13th. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cam Smith out of Washington. Forte. I mean, when you see Shane Forte finish 15th, you got to say, wow, what's going on with that field? Because Forte is another very, very talented driver that you're typically looking at, you know, top five, six drivers. I mean, that's a great field of, of sprint car talent at that Marvin Smith race. Absolutely. I mean, this whole race was filled with talent. I mean, look at look even the street stocks. We've been down the late malls. Look at the street stock main. you got names like Schmidt, Langen, Bloom, uh, Langan again, more bloom again. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Have you, Evans. Now, when you were down there, Justin one, Evans. When you were down there, yes. Did you get a chance to walk over and look at the '74 car of Langan? I did. Yeah, I, I took pictures of every car there. That's the first. That's the first. Oh time yes, I remember that. The first time in the car. That car is a work of art. Yeah, yeah, it is very I mean, nice. You thought the old car he wrecked at Willamette last year was good. This thing here is. Yeah, it's it's a nice looking car. I mean, you go he, anywhere. He in the was Northwest. really excited about it too. Oh, I he, bet. Yeah, his whole crew was his wife, girlfriend, and, yeah. you know the, the girls that were there. They were all excited for him. I will, his wife and girlfriend were both there. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Whoa, yeah, so. man, dude's got it going on. Yeah. I'm telling you, <laughs> Andrew Langan, man, you you I don't I, he's a brave dude. I the personal opinion. I, just I don't want to know where he's go, racing next. <laughs> I don't know if you can go anywhere in the Northwest and find a nicer street stock than what you see in that '74 car. Oh yeah, I mean truly, I don't think you're going to find a nicer race car in that division, it, arguably on the West Coast. Yeah, that yeah. thing yeah. is. I nice. mean, that is top notch stuff. And the Langen crew, they know how to build a race car. They've been around the game a while. Just yeah. a, just a few months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They only decades. got like one or two Ws under their belt. Right. I mean, yeah. Last it happens. Week. But you, how was the street stock main event when you were down there? It was awesome. It was, yeah. I mean, what what are you what are you looking for here? Well, let's talk about the action. What you what would you see? I mean, Evans did he? I know that Evans pretty much dominated the whole race in the feature. Yeah, in the feature. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's probably because he's in a Ford. That is funny because he's in a Ford. <laughs> no, he right did. Now, a, that, he did a heck of a job. They got that car working good. They do. And yeah. you know what? When he went <laughs> after everything was all over, and, and he went to to take his car out on the front stretch and and get his. Uh, see, he already has trophy. So the you know the after race thing, you know, when the winners sure. bring their cars yep. back out. Well, the car wouldn't start because it had a dead battery, and there was there were I don't know five or six of us standing there, and we went to push start this thing. <laughs> that car weighs heavy. about five hundred thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah, it's I mean, heavy. it is heavy. It's amazing. It's it gets probably thirty three oh one. It's thirty. It, it's amazing. No, it no. gets around the track the way it does because that car is heavy. I think <laughs> I'm it's telling you. 
Yeah, they got to be. Were they twenty? What do they have to weigh? Thirty-three hundred pounds. And I think with Justin in that car, and I've, I've talked with Al. They, with they, Justin they in the admit car, it's heavy. I think it's thirty-six hundred. Yeah, it's it's heavy. With Justin in the car, yeah. Well, that makes sense. I mean, Justin's Justin's not an Oompa Loompa. No, he's he's big man. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, I I did see now I did see the the trophy dash that you put up. Yeah, and that that Justin won, but that was a good race. Yeah, I mean, that's, and, and they had some nice hardware down there too. Yeah, trophies were real nice. Yeah, they, yeah. That's, a, that, that's a pretty they, special. They deal typically down there. break out some real nice hardware for that this event. Yeah, mm-hmm. but yeah, you know, look at look at where the results ended up. Look at where everybody lined up at the end of the night. I mean, anybody surprised the Cougar took it over these guys? Surprise? No, I'm not surprised any time that car wins. No. But then I wouldn't be surprised to see the 74 up there, or or the nine of Schmidt, Schmidt. or the 85 of you know that car normally is it's driven Schmidt by. Schmidt battled him a, b- a little bit for the lead yeah, there. Schmidt's yeah, Schmidt's fast. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see you know the 85. It's owned by Evan Britton with you know even Langan driving that car. I mean any or any of the 33s. Absolutely. Right. I mean it just would not surprise me to see most of those people on that list as a winner, but. Am I surprised when the 99 wins? No. No. I'm not. I mean, that's like saying, are you surprised when Mayo wins? No. I mean, he's just one of those guys that's in the elite group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, so no. it's almost as expected as, as much as it is a given. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> and, now, and, what and, I, what, and kudos to Justin Evans. I mean, he does a heck of a job, so that's all I'm saying, really. Yeah, well, he's, he's, a, he's one of those drivers that drives without emotion. Yeah, oh, he's even keeled as can be. You know, he's just. I think that's the way you got to be. You know, if yeah, you're going to yeah. be successful. Yeah, I mean, you let your emotions get a hold of you behind the wheel, and oh, then you're screwed. it never works out. Then you're like Corey well. Penfold so, in the wall, or oh, something. come on now, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let me come across this table, Warren. <laughs> yeah, it's a long ways. <laughs> hey, uh, let him get his power shake down first. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want him drinking that. It body slam me. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. But look, you know, night two, it, these two day shows. No, down let's, there, let's do the. We better look at the late models from night one first. Because I did. I already did. I already talk up Tom, Tomas Hunts. We did. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. So well. now I know you haven't spent much time talking with him and his wife. But, well, Jennifer. Yeah. But you did. You had but to I meet did. Him and, and yeah. You're going to be hard pressed at any racetrack anywhere to, to find meet nicer any people. nicer yeah. people. Yeah. Just absolutely awesome. Really are great people. So. They are. I always say uh, they're always. You know what? They're always upbeat no matter what's going on those two people are always always i, I remember one time when tomas had a little incident in the victory circle at willamette speedway and had a he was uh the sky was looking down to him mm-hmm. and I, I i remember clear as day jennifer walking up to him going how you doing buddy we're good awesome yeah, yeah. it was just like yeah. What are you going to do about it anyway? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It. It's was... in the books. You know, what the heck? Just wonderful people. So it More looks like people. HVD was the, the fast qualifier in the sprints. Was that on night two? Night two. 34 cars timed in. 34 sprints. Wow, cars. I actually thought there'd be more on night two. But look at that. So Saturday was the big night. And so we don't, <laughs> look, look who ended up in, in second timing in. Yeah, Chelsea Blevins. Nice. Chelsea Blevins. Good lap. She, eight, 18? She's a youngster. Yeah, she's young. She's a youngster. And then, well, Kudos to you her, know what's kind of that, funny that's though. Awesome. You know what's kind of funny is as you look at this list and qualifying as they go down. I mean to see, you know, I mean Cam Smith top five car. You know the guy out of Washington, and then Patrick Dills in Patrick the top Dills. ten. And I believe he was running a, a limited engine. I might be wrong, but I know he runs the the limited sprints. Mm-hmm. I think he was running a limited against these guys that were in the three sixties. That kid has got so much talent. I mean, he's a champ down there at Cottage Grove. He knows his way around. The old deals in that 5D car is a couple wins well, already this year. Then look at it. Colin Baker times yeah. in 11th. Well, that's what I'm saying. You start looking at the names towards the bottom list. you got Colin Baker, Garen Kyle Linder, Miller. Kyle Miller, all right there at, at 11, Waddell. 12, and 13. Jake Wheeler's all the way down 21st. Right. I mean. Who do you got below that? Kinzer, your boy Kinzer Cox, 25th. Forte is, is 32nd. I mean, look at the. I mean, that, that tells you you, you can't. You can't screw up down there at all. Yeah. Well, you look, a twitch, a twitch will cost you. Well, big when you're time. flat-footing around a, th- what what size track? Is, what do they call well, that? That's a, a third. Uh, that's, that's, a, a that's a quarter. A quarter. A quarter. That's a quarter. Yeah, that's a quarter yeah. mile. That's a big quarter. No, uh, no, it's not on the inside. Quarter. It's yeah. not. Well, when you look at it here, the first, the top ten guys separated by twenty-one hundredths yeah. of a second. Right. 
you go back to 20th place. There, yeah, it wasn't even all the way to 30th place before you get up less, to the second. Yeah, less yeah. than the second in the top 30. Yeah, that's amazing. Whole the whole 34 cars that timed in, 1.300 seconds separated them between 34 cars. Pretty and tight that, field, and that's not including the four cars that didn't have to do anything but race the A, right? Or race the uh, the dash mm-hmm. for the top for, eight. For, yeah, they were Excuse locked me. in. You all right? You gonna make it? Yeah, I'm not giving you CPR. I I wouldn't want you to. I don't <laughs> know where you, your mouth's you're been. You choking on that Perrier? It's Perrier. <laughs> Perrier. It's per. It's Perrier. <laughs> We've had this discussion on there before. You remember how he used to make fun of me for drinking it and look what he's drinking? I know. I know. Yeah. When when did the conversion actually happen? I well when anyway. Let's when move. you when you go down to Target and it's like cheaper than a soda. Target where they have coupons. Yeah, coupons. Let's talk about the IMCA modifieds down there. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Where are we? Because they they had some some Let's racing. Bring them oh. up. There there's your qualifying. That's hot laps. That's that's Saturday or thirty. Sunday. That's Sunday. Thirty cars timed in. Mm-hmm. No, that's hot laps. Yeah. Look look who the top five people are. We talk about them. We yeah, talk about them the all time. the time. And look, they're all look at Gray up there in third. My gosh, good job, Gray. Bryson James, Jesse Williamson, Gray Ferrando, Colin Weinberger, Sean, Sean May in fifth. Hey, nice. Sean May is no slouch. Oh, I know, I know. That dude is. You know what? He's he's a quiet kid too. Yes, he is. He is. He's, he's kind of like Bryson in that way. Bryson's pretty <laughs> reserved, yeah. you know, yeah, very uh-huh. quiet. Uh, yeah, that's the way Sean is. Man. That's good job for all those guys, man. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, that that's interesting too. Look at the top five and. Those are guys we normally see at Willamette. Yep, and then and, yeah. the, and the winner, um, night two was Jake Maiden, right? Yep, he, he qualified time, seventh fast, timed in seventh, and he's is Jesse Bailey a Cottage Grove guy? Mm-hmm. Pretty sure, yeah. And then, well, look, at, uh, that's a good run. I mean, Brian Thompson he was in, qualified in the top ten. Kevin Williamson in his brand new car, yeah, stepping Curt- up out of the street stock. Curtis Towns in that. In the See Curtis, position. I mean that's that right there. I mean, and look now that you talk Sam about Potter, the difference in qualifying from you know the top thirty-four cars only had like barely a second. We got to one second at the top ten. Yeah, in the modifieds. In the modifieds yep. And I think I wonder how the track was how it differed on from Saturday night. Well, that, Sunday that plays night. a big that, part. That in plays it, a yeah. big well, part. Well, how does anybody know how it differed? I, I mean, was it, it was it better it had Sunday? To have gone dry. Well, you know, I I didn't look and see what the track was doing. Well, the maybe video. Maybe if we I get somebody you. to. Call in on the uh, Swears well, Truck we'll talk, and Chat we'll, line we'll or something. Maybe we can that. find that out. We'll talk with Justin. No, yeah. he wasn't on the track second night. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah. Look at who's bringing up and who's sitting in 14th who's actually bringing it on this year. We didn't talk about him much last year at Cottage Grove. Now this year he's got making a name for himself. Yep. Got a, coming off a win, Eric Ashley in the 84 machine. Dustin Katie in 15th right after him. And that's, that's weird. That shocks me a little bit. It does me too. Because there's a guy who can go down there, can but go anywhere. Again. Now, are we looking at are we looking at results from the main here? No, this is qualifying. Oh, okay, this is qualifying. This is hot laps. Justin Riker in 16th. And then you look at you know look at your seventh, yeah, your 17th fast qualifier, Dreger, ended up wow. second on night two. Well, that's just qualifying. Steve, and that's that's right. Steven Strudevant, who is coming off second place in points last year, 19th. Steve Moore, 21. Archer in the tw- yeah, I show wish I would have went down the second night. It's a lot of work, Man. but you know, I mean, that's just the, the, again a list of heavy hitters. Yeah, I mean, truly, yeah. There's, there's a lot of there's a lot of heavy hitters. There, there. is, and that's the, the again. You go to the big shows, you know, and there wasn't a whole lot going on at Willamette, so everybody went, you know, either north or south to right, Sunset right. or or Grove, and man, Depending oh on man, what kind of cars they had and wanted to run. Absolutely. You know, one of the guys we didn't talk about on that list was Craig Hansen. I mean, he his absolutely his favorite racetrack in the world is Cottage Grove. He yeah. loves taking a modified down there. And, yeah. Um, I knew we'd see his name on that list uh, just going into that show because he, you know, he really, really enjoys that place. And I think he's got a win down there already. Didn't he open up with a win down there? I believe so. I think he did. Wasn't that? I wouldn't be surprised. I I don't remember. I think he opened head, up though. with a win. I think he got fourth at this one on on. Second night. What are we looking at here? So this Joel. this is the main. For night number two or night, one? Night, night number two, two okay. for the modifieds, the main. Jake Maiden. That is an impressive run. That kid is... You should have... I, I watched that one live. Somebody was Facebook live streaming it. There, I, was, I, like, I came there in. was like 65 people, 75 people live streaming. Oh, I know. Really? I mean, 
my Facebook feed was filled with live.